Hello traders, welcome to the Ninja Trader tutorial and the fourth module Superdome Interactive. In this lesson we are going to learn about one cancels the other orders or OCO orders. OCO orders mean that uh, when one of the two orders inside of the um, OCO bracket gets filled the other gets cancelled. This is a great uh, technique uh, to trade uh, ranges for example and this will be our first example let's imagine that price is trading inside of this range okay and uh, we want to sell uh, the market at resistance and buy the market at support but because price is trading in the middle right and we don't know if we are going to uh, sell the market at resistance or buy the market at support what we are going to do is we are going to use two orders with that, that cancel each other one sell order at resistance and one buy order at support. First of all, what we need to do is we need to activate the OCO. So to activate the OCO, right click on the Superdome and uh, click on OCO order. You will see right here that the OCO is active now. So what we're going to do is we're going to place a sell limit order above the market. right here of two, con order two contracts and a buy limit order below the market right here order at uh, uh, 5017 because the market is pretty thin by now we are going to go ahead and move the buy limit order to the ac actual market price this is just for you to see that when one of the two limit orders gets filled, the other gets cancelled. Order fell. Now the order got filled and the sell limit order got cancelled once we got long on this trade. I'm going to close this uh, trade right order. now. And I'm going to go to the second OCO example that I'm going to use uh, the OCO function to bracket the current position. Now let's assume that uh, we have um, we have a um, open position that is unprotected with either stop loss or uh, limit orders as profit targets. To protect this trade, we are going to use an OCO um, stop loss and uh, profit taking or limit order. So what we're going to do, first of all, we are going to place a stop loss below the current market price. By doing so, we are going to hold on to the control key and press this middle wheel of the mouse. Order. The OCO is active, so we need a target, and we are going to uh, put on the target right here at 5037 just by left clicking on the uh, sell side of the super order. We have a limit order and a stop order of two contracts. Now, if uh, the limit order ge gets hit, it will mean that our trade is going to be taken out on a profit and our stop loss will be cancelled because uh, the limit order got filled. Vice versa, if the stop loss gets filled, we are going to be taken out on a loss and the limit order will be cancelled. OCO orders are great because uh, if you don't use OCO orders while protecting a trade or while using a bracket, um, with your limit order or your, your profit target gets hit and filled, your stop loss will remain active and market could come down and fill it and uh, you will be on an unprotected trade uh, without a strategy or without a valid entry now i'm going to push down the limit of this trade because we are already a few ticks uh, we are four ticks uh, in the money so i'm going to push it down right here and uh, you can see we got filled and the stop loss got uh, cancelled. Always remember to uh, click out the OCO order menu because 
you don't want to have duplicate OCO orders within your uh, Superdome. 